My eyes get a little puffy in the morning, so I always like to do a face mask. This one's really cute. I think this is a look. I think I should go out like this. Vogue. Good morning, Vogue. I'm Tinashe. I'm here in Los Angeles, and I'm super excited because today I'm going skiing. That's actually super fun. It's only a couple hours away from LA. So we're packing up all my ski stuff. I'm gonna show you guys some of my favorite cold weather packing tips and tricks. It's time to pack. First things first, snow pin. Packing for cold weather is actually a lot harder than packing for warm weather because cold weather clothes take up way more space. When I go on tour and I have to go from hot to cold weather really quickly, it's actually very difficult, but the best thing about that is hot weather clothes are usually really small, so I kind of like scrunch them up really tiny, like a little tank top that's like this big, you know? I'm gonna bring the essential items. One brush, blush, mascara, foundation, eyebrow pencil. One time I had to do a show and my suitcase got lost and like sent to like a different country. So I literally had nothing to wear and no makeup to put on which is why I also learned to put your makeup in your carry-on as well, because you gotta have some essential items on your person at all times. I also wanna bring some fun stuff because we're going to the snowy cabin. So the first fun thing I wanna bring is a game. Cards Against Humanity is always a fun game. And then, um, yeah, a fun little Polaroid camera so you can capture the moment. Say cheese. Oh, it's not working. Always have to bring a neck pillow or like a fun pillow of sorts because you're always tired on the road and you just need somewhere to lay your head, so. I like Totoro. So we packed up the suitcases. Last minute, just gotta make sure I have all of my essential purse items. I keep a Sharpie in my purse in case I need to sign autographs because you gotta be prepared. Ibuprofen, hand lotion, lip balm. I got a lighter because I like to light things on fire, mostly candles. And last but not least, I actually have a Palo Santo smudge stick of ever somewhere, and I'm like, yo, this person's vibe is not it. I'm just like, yo, get out of my face, get out of my face. Good vibes all around, good vibes save lives. Let's go, let's get it. I'll meet you guys at the car. All right, so it is 10 o'clock. It's it. super late. We are behind schedule, but we finally got all our stuff packed up, so we're ready to head up the mountain. I got my brother with me, my friend Hillary. You guys ready? Yeah, let's do it. Do it. Let's go. So we're on the road. We made it on the road. We have a long way to go. I'm going to show you guys my little makeup routine that I would do for just kind of your day to day. I'm not going to an event or anything like that, so this is what I would put on just to go up the mountain, if you will. So I have this. All right, first things first. I could use like a little foundation, a little pale. I like really sheer foundations because I don't like to cover up all of my freckles. Sometimes my foundation looks too dark in the winter because I get so pale. I even try to buy like a shade lighter in the winter time. Sometimes you gotta add a little extra oomph, you know what I'm saying? So that's why we have bronzer. And I just like to put that on my forehead. Traveling really makes you get used to doing your makeup on the go. I've done my makeup in airplanes tour buses, cars, in the dark, <laughs> with my eyes closed. So you have to have your at least basic makeup routine down pat. Oh, we're at a red light. This is the perfect time to fill in your eyebrows. I really like the Chanel pencil because again, it's like not too dark, but when you're moving, it's all about the aim. You just gotta like, Bam. One brow, two brows, okay. Blush, blush is actually my favorite because I feel like if I didn't have anything else and I just put on some blush, I always end up looking okay. So, gosh, this lighting is just atrocious. 
on the road. You never know what the lighting is gonna be. Right now I got a patch of shade. Oh, there comes the sun again. It's like, you just have to always be prepared. Always like a little lipstick. It has a lot of my moisture in it too. I don't like lipsticks that are too dry. Chanel. Chanel, baby. Sometimes I like to mix lipsticks because this one's a little too light, I think. So I'm gonna try this guy. I'm gonna do a couple swipes of mascara, not too much because that's not the vibe of the day, but we'll just do a couple. I like that. That's nice. Okay, I call this Tinashe's Everyday <laughs> Nude Non Makeup Makeup Look. That looks fresh. Thanks, Hills. <laughs> Boop. All done. I went on my first tour when I was in a girl group when I was 16 years old with Justin Bieber. So that was crazy because I knew nothing about touring, nothing about the road. I've, since then, 10 years later, have learned a lot in terms of like what works and the best way to travel and how to travel comfortably. And once you get it down to a system, traveling feels like so much less of a big deal. Traffic is not great. <laughs> we are currently stuck in lovely Los Angeles traffic. All right, it is 1.45 in the afternoon. We haven't made it to the mountain yet, but it's raining down here. And based on what it looks like, it's super duper snowy up there. Um, we heard the weather's actually really terrible. So I think we're gonna postpone the skiing until tomorrow. And we may just stay the night somewhere at the base of the mountain. All right, it's two o'clock. We almost made it to the mountain, but we decided that we needed to stop for one more snack first. So, you know me, it's taco time. Oh, let's go. Let's go. We eating now. Do the taco dance. Rainbow came out, it seems like a sign. So, ooh, I'm gonna take over driving and we're gonna get back in the car. See what happens. Wish us luck. How long does it say it's gonna be? Two hours. Two? Yeah. They're all putting on chains. Yeah, the snow <laughs> is messing up our whole day plans. <laughs> Rerouting. I don't know what. But you can't control the weather now, can you? We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. <laughs> We're gonna make it. Y'all, I don't even know if I'm going the right way. We're kind of going all the way around. This is such a big loop. <laughs> Slide to the right. <laughs> we still haven't made it up the mountain yet, but it's, it's an adventure. <laughs> okay, we just got an ETA update from Waze. An hour has been added to our trip. I'm like, we could go back home. It's closer than going all the way up. I feel like we should abort the mission and come back in the morning. This is insane. Well, it's 6.30 and we never made it to Big Bear, unfortunately. Guess we'll have to try again tomorrow. But we had a pretty fun day, like road tripping. Yeah. We got some tacos, got to hang out. Good friends, good conversation. It was a good time. Good times, you know? <laughs> this is the end of the this journey. so sad to say goodbye because we didn't even get to say hello. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Whatever, see fun. you guys next time, bye. <laughs> it is 7 a.m. and we're so excited because we're finally going up the mountain. Not only did we make it to Big Bear, everyone, but it's beautiful out. It's the perfect conditions. It made it all worth it.